Alrighty, what's up guys? Joshua Lefemi here, and we are back in After Effects beta to test out the new Rotor Brush tool. I already did a video kind of introing Rotor Brush last week, but I'm actually going to create a new video. We're going to basically use Rotor Brush on another piece of footage. This one's gonna be kind of complicated in that the background's very funky. There's a lot of colors going on. It's very uh, complex as far as the patterns, and we're gonna see how well Rotor Brush 2 fares in this video. Like I said in the previous video, um, you can see it in the link below. Rotor Brush Tool is a is an incredible upgrade from the first Rotor Brush. I hated the first Rotor Brush. I'm really excited about what After Effects has done. You're going to be so surprised how accurate the tracking is. They, look how confusing and how much is going on in the foreground with the actual girl and then look how complex the background is. If you use the first order brush in After Effects, everyone that's used it knows it would be a mess. You'd have to be going in and literally going frame by frame and adjusting it. Rotor Brush 2 utilizes Adobe's new Sensei machine learning technology to create masks faster and more accurately than ever before. It's currently just available on After Effects Beta, which is available by just clicking onto Adobe Creative Cloud, clicking on the Beta Apps button, and and then installing Adobe After Effects Beta. I'm assuming that Rotor Brush 2 will be available in normal After Effects after the next update. All right, guys, if you'd like to follow along and download the clip that we're about to mask, then follow these steps. You can get that footage for free via Envato Elements. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description to sign up and you'll get your first month for free. It really helps the channel out too. After you sign up, go into the search bar and type young woman dancing on stairs. The clip is linked in the description. So guys, I download a ridiculous amount of stock footage every day for various projects and tutorials that I edit. Most stock footage sites make you pay for each clip individually. For example, I found this same dancing clip on a different site being sold for $22. And like most stock footage sites, if you want to use that same footage for another project, you have to actually go back and pay another $22 to relicense it. For Envato Elements, however, you pay $33 one time every month, and you literally have unlimited downloads and unlimited uses to a library of over 2 million creative assets and templates, including a massive library of incredible stock footage. I mean, just download two clips from Envato Elements and you are already saving more money than if you had bought them individually. And through my personal link below, you can get your first month for free and cancel at any time. And yes, even after you cancel, you still retain that usage license for every project that you've already used the project on forever. But you'd be crazy to cancel. You'll see that coupon for the free first month at the very, very end after you've finished signing up. All right, let's get back to the tutorial. So let's go right in. Click on the Rotor Brush tool. Then double click on your footage in the composition window to activate your layer window. Then once you're inside the layer window, begin drawing inside the area that you'd like to cut out. Make sure that the mask edges matches perfectly with the edges of the object that you're trying to cut out. As you draw, you should see a green marking. If you make a mistake, you can just cut back on that mask by holding Alt down, and this will result in a red marking when you draw. One thing I like to do is I like to go and use the refine edge tool to make sure that the hair is done accurately, masked out accurately. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to hold Alt, I'm gonna hold Control down, expand that brush a little bit, and as you can see, this refine edge tool is going to help refine your edge. You want to do this during or in places where you have a lot of intricate edges, such as where hair is. As you can see, everything within the white is going to be held within the within the mask, and everything that's black is going to be excluded from the mask. Look how accurate this is! All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the rotor brush tool, and I'm going to now start going forward using page up and page down to go forward and seeing how accurate this mask is holding. Look how well it's holding guys considering how crazy that background is and how crazy she's dancing and then that you know her jacket or her shirt that she has on her waist is just whipping all over the place and yet the mask is holding up pretty well. All right we see that the refine edge tool is kind of bleeding under her arm. Uh, go back to the refine edge tool and I did not cover this you can again hold alt down and that'll give you a negative mask as far as the refine edge tool and that'll just clear up any refine edge that you don't really want I only want the refine edge to be on her hair so I don't really need it on her arm at all all right guys let's check it out wow look at this guys this is so 
incredible. Look at all the movement that's happening. Look at how accurately the Roto brush is attaching to the edges. It is pretty incredible. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, I'm gonna show you a few different modes that you can use. You can look at it kind of in like a black and white mode where you can see the edges of the mask perfectly because everything that's within the mask is white and everything that's excluded from the mask is black. There is the mode that we're in where you can kind of see the mask just by being represented by this pink line outline. Then you can kind of see this mode. This is this is actually a pretty accurate mode where you're able to see everything that's excluded from the mask is red and everything that's within the mask um, is the true colors of the subject. All right, we're now gonna go to our composition window and we're gonna see how this looks. All right, this looks pretty awesome, guys. Look at this, look how great this looks. This is crazy, this would have taken days to do. <laughs> so guys, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a slight feather. I'm gonna add a feather to the edges. I'm gonna add a feather of like, uh, let's say 12. Let's see how that looks. All right, that's awesome. Guys, obviously, you know, if we had spent, you know, a little bit more time, we could have perfected things, but um, I can see her arm kind of disappears at the very beginning. I guess I missed that. But guys, I just want you to kind of generally look at how accurate this is. Um, honestly, going back and perfecting um, just, you know, those little glimpses of uh, the background that you see really wouldn't take that long. I just wanted this to kind of just be a, a short little example of just the power of Rotor Brush. You can tell, guys, look at look at the, even just you know, going and seeing how the uh, her sweater is whipping back and forth and how accurate those edges are. It's beautiful. Um, so uh, last thing, guys, is again, we talked about the feather. You can control the feather. You can control the contrast of the mask. You can shift the edge of the match, uh, the mask. You can reduce chatter. Chatter is just basically when you see a bunch of uh, vibrating between the ed you know, on the edge. Um, reduce chatter will kind of smooth all that up. I don't really have a lot of that issue, I don't think, with this one. Um, you can then, uh, again, do the same thing and adjust the refined edge uh, mat as well with the same parameters. Um, so, oh, we can also use motion blur. Let's try that. I've not used motion blur yet. Motion blur, again, should add a little bit of smoothing to the mask wherever there's movement. Cool, all right. So yeah, I guess, uh, you know, always, always at least try motion blur, see how you like it, see if it affects anything in a positive or a negative light. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is gonna be incredible for things like making memes and, um, you know, saving yourself if you forget to shoot behind a green screen. Um, as you can see, this background is pretty pretty complex that we cut out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to share. I want you to start the conversation in the comments below. Um, have you used the Rotoscope 2 tool yet? What did you use it for? How well did it go for you? Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. I actually have two additional videos that you've got to watch. And remember to get your free month of Envato Elements by clicking the link below in the description. And lastly, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill.